LabVIEW is a system design platform and development environment for a visual programming language from National Instruments. The graphical language is named G. Originally released for the Apple Macintosh in 1986, LabVIEW is commonly used for data acquisition, instrument control, and industrial automation on a variety of platforms including Microsoft Windows, various versions of Unix, Linux, and OS X. The latest version of LabVIEW is LabVIEW 2015, released in August 2015. Data Flow Programming The programming language used in LabVIEW, also referred to as G, is a data flow programming language. Execution is determined by the structure of a graphical block diagram on which the programmer connects different function nodes by drawing wires. These wires propagate variables and any node can execute as soon as all its input data become available. Since this might be the case for multiple nodes simultaneously, G is inherently capable of parallel execution. Multiprocessing and multithreading hardware is automatically exploited by the built-in scheduler, which multiplexes multiple OS threads over the nodes ready for execution. Graphical Programming LabVIEW ties the creation of user interfaces into the development cycle. LabVIEW programs subroutines are called virtual instruments. Each VI has three components, a block diagram, a front panel and a connector panel. The last is used to represent the VI in the block diagrams of other calling viz. The front panel is built using controls and indicators. Controls are inputs. They allow a user to supply information to the VI. Indicators are outputs. They indicate, or display, the results based on the inputs given to the VI. The back panel, which is a block diagram, contains the graphical source code. All of the objects placed on the front panel will appear on the back panel as terminals. The back panel also contains structures and functions which perform operations on controls and supply data to indicators. The structures and functions are found on the functions palette and can be placed on the back panel. Collectively controls, indicators, structures and functions will be referred to as nodes. Nodes are connected to one another using wires, e.g., two controls and an indicator can be wired to the addition function so that the indicator displays the sum of the two controls. Thus a virtual instrument can either be run as a program, with the front panel serving as a user interface, or, when dropped as a node onto the block diagram, the front panel defines the inputs and outputs for the node through the connector pane. This implies each VI can be easily tested before being embedded as a subroutine into a larger program. The graphical approach also allows non-programmers to build programs by dragging and dropping virtual representations of lab equipment with which they are already familiar. The LabVIEW programming environment, with the included examples and documentation, makes it simple to create small applications. This is a benefit on one side, but there is also a certain danger of underestimating the expertise needed for high-quality G programming. For complex algorithms or large-scale code, it is important that the programmer possess an extensive knowledge of the special LabVIEW syntax and the topology of its memory management. The most advanced LabVIEW development systems offer the possibility of building standalone applications. Furthermore, it is possible to create distributed applications, which communicate by a client-server scheme, and are therefore easier to implement due to the inherently parallel nature of G. Benefits Interfacing to devices LabVIEW includes extensive support for interfacing to devices, instruments, cameras, and other devices. Users interface to hardware by either writing direct bus commands or using high-level device-specific drivers that provide native LabVIEW function nodes for controlling the device. LabVIEW includes built-in support for new hardware platforms such as Compact DAC and Compact Trio, with a large number of device-specific blocks for such hardware. The Measurement and Automation Explorer and Virtual Instruments Software Architecture Toolsets National Instruments makes thousands of device drivers available for download on the NE Instrument Driver Network. 
Code compilation in terms of performance, LabVIEW includes a compiler that produces native code for the CPU platform. The graphical code is translated into executable machine code by interpreting the syntax and by compilation. The LabVIEW syntax is strictly enforced during the editing process and compiled into the executable machine code when requested to run or upon saving. In the latter case, the executable and the source code are merged into a single file. The executable runs with the help of the LabVIEW runtime engine, which contains some pre-compiled code to perform common tasks that are defined by the G language. The runtime engine reduces compilation time and also provides a consistent interface to various operating systems, graphic systems, hardware components, etc. The runtime environment makes the code portable across platforms. Generally, LabVIEW code can be slower than equivalent compiled C code, although the differences often lie more with program optimization than inherent execution speed. Large libraries Many libraries with a large number of functions for data acquisition, signal generation, mathematics, statistics, signal conditioning, analysis, etc., along with numerous graphical interface elements are provided in several LabVIEW package options. The number of advanced mathematic blocks for functions such as integration, filters, and other specialized capabilities usually associated with data capture from hardware sensors is enormous. In addition, LabVIEW includes a text-based programming component called MathScript with additional functionality for signal processing, analysis and mathematics. MathScript can be integrated with graphical programming using script nodes and uses a syntax that is generally compatible with MATLAB. Parallel programming LabVIEW is an inherently concurrent language, so it is very easy to program multiple tasks that are performed in parallel by means of multi-threading. This is, for instance, easily done by drawing two or more parallel while loops. This is a great benefit for test system automation, where it is common practice to run processes like test sequencing, data recording, and hardware interfacing in parallel. Ecosystem Due to the longevity and popularity of the LabVIEW language, and the ability for users to extend the functionality, a large ecosystem of third-party add-ons has developed through contributions from the community. This ecosystem is available on the LabVIEW Tools Network, which is a marketplace for both free and paid LabVIEW add-ons. User community There is a low-cost LabVIEW student edition aimed at educational institutions for learning purposes. There is also an active community of LabVIEW users who communicate through several email groups and internet forums. Criticism LabVIEW is a proprietary product of national instruments. Unlike common programming languages such as a C or Fortran, LabVIEW is not managed or specified by a third-party standards committee such as ANSI, IEEE, ISO, etc. Data flow programming model Due to its thorough adoption of the data flow programming model as opposed to the sequential ordering of arbitrary commands, like most other languages there is a very real barrier to many people who attempt to apply already learned principles from other programming approaches to LabVIEW. The inherent parallel nature of the execution of LabVIEW code is a perennial source of confusion among those who are accustomed to other approaches. Due to this, most opinions tend to be highly polarized with people either being extremely fond of it or being extremely hostile to it. Licensing building a standalone application with LabVIEW requires the application build a component which is included with the professional development system but requires a separate purchase if using the base package or full development system. Runtime environment compiled executables produced by version 6.0 and later of the application builder are not truly standalone in that they also require the LabVIEW runtime engine be installed on any target computer which runs the application. The use of standard controls requires a runtime library for any language. 
All major operating systems supply the required libraries for common languages such as a C. However, the runtime required for LabVIEW is not supplied with any operating system and has to be specifically installed by the administrator or user. This can cause problems if an application is distributed to a user who may be prepared to run the application but does not have the inclination or permission to install additional files on the host system prior to running the executable. Race conditions and parallel execution The G gives the impression of being a parallel language that has modules that run in parallel. However, it is essentially implemented on a non-parallel platform without explicit race condition control. This greatly simplifies programming on multi-core and multi-processor systems, as long as the user takes care of the race conditions. Using LabVIEW FPGA module for FPGA programming results in true parallel implementation. Performance LabVIEW makes it difficult to get machine or hardware limited performance and tends to produce applications that are slower than hand. Coded native languages such as a C. High performance can be achieved while using multi-core machines or dedicated toolkits for specific operations. LabVIEW makes multi-core programming much simpler and faster than text-based languages. Lightweight applications Very small applications still have to start the runtime environment, which is a large and slow task. This tends to restrict LabVIEW to monolithic applications. Examples of this might be tiny programs to grab a single value from some hardware that can be used in a scripting language. The overheads of the runtime environment render this approach impractical with LabVIEW. Timing system LabVIEW uses the January 1, 1904 epoch as its zero time. Other programs that use the January 1, 1904 epoch are Apple Lynx Mac OS through version 9, Palm OS, and Microsoft Excel. Release history Starting with LabVIEW 8.0, major versions are released around the first week of August. To coincide with the annual National Instruments Conference NEWIC, and followed by a bug fix release the following February. In 2009, National Instruments started to name the releases after the year in which they are released. The bug fix is called a service pack. Repositories and libraries, OpenJ, as well as Lava Code Repository, serve as repositories for a wide range of open source LabVIEW applications and libraries. SourceForge has LabVIEW listed as one of the possible languages in which code can be written. Vi Package Manager has become the standard package manager for LabVIEW libraries. It is very similar in purpose to Ruby's RubyGems and Perl's CPAN, although it provides a graphical user interface similar to the Synaptic Package Manager. Vi Package Manager provides access to a repository of the opened libraries for LabVIEW. Tools exist to convert MathML into G-code. Related software. National Instruments also offers a product called Measurement Studio, which offers many of the test, measurement and control capabilities of LabVIEW, as a set of classes for use with Microsoft Visual Studio. This allows developers to harness some of LabVIEW's strengths within the text-based net framework. National Instruments also offers Lab Windows, CVI as an alternative for ANSI C programmers. When applications require sequencing, users often use LabVIEW with tests and test management software, also from national instruments. The CH interpreter is a C, C++ interpreter that can be embedded into LabVIEW for scripting. The TRIL Center Island Biomobius platform and DSP Robotics Flowstone DSP also use a form of graphical programming similar to LabVIEW, but are limited to the biomedical and robotics industries respectively. LabVIEW has a direct node with Moda Frontier, a multidisciplinary and multi-objective optimization and design environment, written to allow coupling to almost any computer-aided engineering tool. Both can be part of the same process workflow description and can be virtually driven by the optimization technologies available in Moda Frontier.